Welcome Aries, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at this time. Okay, so whenever you see this reading is when it is the best time for you. And if it doesn't resonate, then check out your other birth placements. That might make more sense for you. Okay, we're using the grace cards and nature's whispers. And Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get stuck in here. Okay, Aries. Three cards for Aries, please. First card out. Two more cards for Aries, please. Love it when it happens. Okay. Thank you. Easy as that, Aries. Okay, so the first card here is a Believe. And I love her energy of just really getting into that moment, you know, of believing whatever it is you want or, you know, sort of like your future and how you want that to transpire. Believing that that can happen, you know. So it says, when we marry intention with action, miracles happen. Yes. And the next card out is Chant. Okay, take the leap. Divine protection is always by our side. This is so true, Aries. This is so true. Okay, so partnership. God speaks to us through people. We are ambassadors of grace for one another. This card here, Aries, always makes me think about this, like I'm always drawn to the armor that this guy is wearing here. And um, and the fact that her hand is on his heart, and this this feeling of um, and he's actually got his his hand around his hand around her wrist, almost as though to say, "Don't go too far in, you know. Don't go too deep because I cannot deal with that, you know." And um, yeah, so I'm just wondering if this is applicable for you here Aries but let's start with believe here okay so three cards for believe no two cards we want sorry two cards for believe for Aries please when we marry intention with action that's two cards miracles happen so true make a decision okay so this there's this sense here of um, two worlds, okay? It's kind of like, and the thing is, the two worlds are very appealing. It's difficult to decide between, you know, which world you could choose, right? Because they look, both look very appealing. Um, and I think it is looking at your intention like it says here in Belief. Okay, um, believing that you can have the most beautiful life or the most beautiful outcome you could ever dream of, Aries, regardless of what decision you make. Okay, so let's have a look. Make a decision. Two cards for Aries for make a decision, please. That's our first one out, which is slowing down. And I feel like this is you needing to slow down, Aries. Okay, that was two cards, but because of how they've jumped out, I'm going to take them. But slowing down to um, go with him, because the turtle goes within whenever he needs to seek shelter um, or have a rest, he goes into his um, shell, right? And that's not to say to hide away from the world, but it's to say to tap in um, to your inner desires, realistically okay what those are okay so let's have a look here we've got the burden and we've got going with the flow love it this is new beginning a new beginning in something passionate something amazing this is um could be love but i feel like aries it could even be a new beginning um with you connecting with yourself okay we've got the burden here and this aries is about not caring 
or not sorry not um, allowing other people to direct your direction okay um, it's kind of like when when I'm looking at this card the burden with um, marrying intention with action this guy here he has an in he he's not um it's like he's lost focus of his his intention of as to where he wants to go in life okay and he's now listening to these other people you go this way um so i feel like maybe it's the case that you need to go within to see which way to go the other thing with going with the flow here aries is this is um the ace of cups and it's coming through about the message that I often say with the Ace of Cups is be very aware of what you're filling your cup with, okay? Um, because you want to fill your cup with everything good, everything amazing, everything you would like to receive, okay, in a relationship uh, for yourself, all right? So you give all that to yourself and then what will happen, happen Aries, is you will meet someone with the a cup that is a vibrational match here okay and um and if you meet someone who hasn't filled their cup with the same content that you have then um you'll be repelled by that so just be aware of what you are putting into your cup and that is with your thoughts that's with your feelings and that's all about yourself okay so this says let your love be your beacon. Yeah, Aries, follow your heart. Really tap into, you know, your, your intention for yourself, your intention for your life. For some of you, Aries, it's like you're just doing life as opposed to actually um, deliberately creating it. And so, yeah, I feel like this is necessary for you. Okay, so two cards but let love be your beacon for Aries please and and this could also be with this closed off heart here Aries opening that up to let the light in to let love in okay so let's have a look here the courage to grow to the light right the courage because the thing is it's kind of like you who's the seed Aries has been planted in between the rocks and um and there's been this struggle and this fight to grow into the light and it hasn't been easy um but Aries you have done it and I feel like you have the courage to do anything that you want in your life okay intensity I feel like there's, um, okay, I'm getting a couple of messages here. I feel like um, there's this fear of opening up because of the intensity of the vulnerability that you then open yourself up to, okay? The other thing is that some of you may be in a new relationship or about to get into a new relationship or meet somebody and it's intense it's pretty intense um so yeah just yeah anyway Aries okay with the next card here we have is chance and let me remind you to take the leap divine protection is always by our side okay and I love how there's this sort of river down here flowing here right and this this is this going with the flow, right? Taking the leap into the flow of love, in a sense. You know, whether it's um, whether it's a new relationship, that new relationship could, could be the beginning of a new relationship with yourself, like I say. Okay, so two cards for, oh, what was it again? Chance. Taking a chance, right, Aries? Love it next card yes thank you okay the big picture yeah see this is what I was talking about before um what is the big picture marry the intention right marry intention with action and miracles happen okay what is your bigger picture of your life you know when you were young how did you see your life how did you want that to um what what did you want to grow yeah 
in your life? What mark do you want to make on this earth in this lifetime that you are here, Aries? This is really important for you to consider right now so that you can work out which way you're going to go. Okay, so the big picture. Two cards for Aries, please. The big picture. Two cards for Aries. One and two. Thank you. Both landed on the table, which I am impressed with, I have to say. Okay, suppression. Okay, this is suppressing emotions, okay, not allowing them out. And the thing now, Aries, is it's really weighing you down, okay? You're not able to drop these ropes off your back. And I feel like all these ropes are representing different emotions for you. I hope you can see that, okay? Um, and, you know, it's like the weight of that is starting to show cracks in your life. Things are starting to crack and you really want to get on top of that before the floor gives way on you, so to speak. Okay, so um, yes, healing. Healing is needed, okay? Because what's stopping you from taking this leap, from taking this chance, Aries, is these emotions, um, having feeling this burden of having to carry these emotions on your own. Okay, you can you can speak to other people you can you can have have you know even if you need to see a counselor or someone um areas you don't have to carry the burden alone okay it's not all up to you you know it's like in this card here there's other people there who can carry the burden the, the issue is some people are putting their burdens on you as well and you're carrying their burdens as well as your own okay you're only responsible for your own Aries, no one else is, everyone else is responsible for their own burdens. We can't rescue people. That is up to, the, to them to figure out. We can support people, yes, but we can't do the work for them. Okay, and if they're not willing to do that, it's out of your control, unfortunately. Okay, so intuition. Okay, so I feel like here, Aries, um, there's a direction that you could go in. But because of this healing and because of this burden of this, um, these emotions that you're suppressing and, and this burden that you're carrying, it's difficult for you to, to tap into that intuition, okay? But your intuition is going to direct you in the best direction for you because that's, that's from the soul, right? It's from the soul, Aries. You don't need to question it. You don't need to doubt it. You know the knowing yeah, as opposed to the, oh, I wonder if I should. It's the, I know I should, right? Okay, so intuition. Two cards for intuition, please. And, and also, Aries, I want to say that part of this releasing the burden and, and healing is connecting with Mother Nature as well. All right, yeah. Um, so there's been a thunderbolt moment um, where, you know, things have come crashing down, okay, and it's, it's, you know, this, this really, we've also got sorrow here as well, so, yeah, it's been, it's, it's, yeah, it's hard, it is hard, and, um, there's this need for you, Aries, to, um, Okay, how do I put this? Sometimes Aries, we can actually, we can have a thunderbolt moment and that can happen, okay? Sometimes what can happen is we can end up continuously hurting ourselves because of the thoughts that we think, okay? And um, and it doesn't help us to move forward in our life, okay? And I feel like your intuition is screaming out to you right now, but because of what has happened, and um, because of the healing that needs to be done and the burden that you're carrying, it's very difficult to hear it, okay? And, and it could very well be the case that you think you're hearing your intuition, but in fact, it's clouded, okay? So, yeah, I feel like, Aries, this has also been this, this need, I feel, for you to protect your heart, Okay, and not open yourself up to partnership. Remember, 
God speaks to us through people. We are ambassadors of grace for one another. Yep, we sure are. Okay, so two cards for partnership for Aries, please. No, that didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Two cards for Aries for partnership. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Yep. Down with the talent again. Assurance. Assurance. Interesting, Aries, because this is like this first card here. There's the option of two worlds, right? Look at the difference between the two energies in these cards here, right? And I just feel like sometimes... And, and, and is the case for everyone. We need assurance, right? We need assurance that um, that it's going to be okay. And Aries, where can you get that from? Yourself, all right? But it's a matter of releasing this burden after this thunderbolt moment and doing the healing that is required. Okay, so two cards for assurance for Aries, please. Well, oh, they just went flying across the room. I have to go get them. One of them's upside down, so I'll turn that over in a minute. But moment to moment, yep, step by step. Okay, but here's what I want to say about this, is it's a matter of making conscious steps. Because this guy here, I don't know if you can see or not, Aries, but he actually has his eyes closed. And so he's not able to see here the building blocks that he can step on, which are more secure and are going to take him higher than what, say, these um, stepping stones will, right? So it's kind of like a matter of consciously, deliberately creating, okay? And, and taking each step very consciously, very deliberately, all right? Now, I feel like also these blocks here would um, be more visible, if he tapped into his intuition or at least maybe not visible but felt it's like this knowing I know there's another path I know there's another way and maybe it is what you've been feeling I know there's something else I know there's more to this than this you know but I just don't know what well it's there for you Aries okay it is a hundred percent there yep and it is a matter of you getting the guidance that you need okay calling on your angels calling on your spirit guides, all right, um, there's something in you that's been turning away from that, and it's time now to connect in, because this is where you are going to start to be able to tap into this intuition that is screaming at you, Aries, it really is, okay, so the last card out here is new experiences and possibilities, I absolutely adore that this is the last card because this shows you how to climb up the tree, right? Using these blocks here that you can't quite see because the eyes are closed, right? So, um, yeah, climbing to heights that you could, I feel like you only ever dream of, but they are there for the taking. So, new experiences and possibilities. Two cards for Aries for that one, please didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Two cards for Aries. New experiences and possibilities. On the floor again. We've got breakthrough. Yep, breakthrough. Yep, love it. I'm not going to pick it up because it's down there. Breakthrough. Okay, compromise. Yes, so... Aries, here's how I see this, okay, because these two guys all, always remind me of two people stuck in a doorway, and they won't, neither of them will take a step back in order to allow the other one through, okay, and they're just stubborn, and um, I feel like for you, Aries, once you, once you get to this state of compromising, you are going to have the biggest breakthrough. And, and it's sort of like a breakthrough of these walls that you've put up around you um, to keep yourself safe. But what's happened now is that they're hindering you. So I feel as though, Aries, that it's crucial for you to be um, working on this heart space, okay, to do the healing that you need 
from you know this thunderbolt moment and the sadness that you have endured and um and and start really sharing this load because you are not you do not need to carry it alone okay even though yes it is your responsibility to work through it and heal okay you can still ask for support along the way that is a okay all right aries okay that was quick as look at that okay so aries i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye